have no pockets tonight. Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for joining me here yet again. Um, we're coming in the home stretch here. The counties have been working incredibly, incredibly hard. Hundreds of thousands of ballots have been counted so far today, um, and we're in very good shape. Um, but there's still, still some to count. So they are working incredibly hard. They're going to keep counting into the evening, and you know, stay tuned. So. Um, let's see, we have, uh, we've been reaching out, we've been very closely in touch with all 67 counties, making sure that they're reporting on as regular basis as possible. I know all of you, everybody around the country, around the state are, are eagerly awaiting, and I can tell you the counties are too. They are really taking their time, making sure that every single voter in the Commonwealth who has cast their ballot is having those ba ballots accurately and securely counted. So, um, you know, as you know, um, we're going to keep counting. Uh, military and overseas ballots, I think, are coming in. Those will continue to be accepted through next Tuesday. Um, there are obviously provisional ballots that will have to be counted as well after the initial round of ballots. And, you know, I think whatever, whatever the outcomes are, I can tell you that I'm so proud to work with the 67 counties, the election officials who are just doing an amazing job getting these counted accurately and securely. So I am happy, I think, with that to take your questions. Yes. The integrity of the election has certainly been questioned quite a bit over the past several days, and it seems to be intensifying now in these final states uh, that we're waiting to hear from. What is your message to the people of Pennsylvania and to the people of the country about the way things work here in Pennsylvania? So, you know, as we've been talking about for months, uh, Pennsylvanians have more choices on how they've been able to vote this year than they've ever had in the history of the Commonwealth. And no matter how they voted, What's critical here is that we have very strong processes in place that make sure that that, voter, that voting integrity and security are constantly, are constantly followed by every county in the state. So for example, we talked about, I think it was yesterday, voting by mail in Pennsylvania. So the process is, we've got, though, though it's new under Act 77 that we can all vote by mail, it's the same processes that we've used for decades for absentee voting. So voters have to apply. They're checked against either the Social Security database or the PennDOT database. They're checked against their voter record to make sure that they're a qualified voter and they are who they say they are. They cast their ballot, and then they're checked again when the ballot is received, that they were actually an approved voter. Very secure. Very, there's, there's really, like, the strength of the integrity of this vote is really unparalleled. Same when you vote in person, right? You have to be registered, you go in, you sign in the poll book. All of these things are tracked. Our voting systems and our databases make sure that no voter can cast more than one vote. It literally has a hard stop, should anybody even try. And the counties, again, as I've talked about, the amazing county election officials, they take this so seriously. They are such professionals. So, you know, it, I can just say, really, no matter how you chose to vote this year, and so many Pennsylvanians have, and it looks like it's really going to be great turnout when we finalize the numbers, um, that every method is incredibly safe and secure. Yes. Yes, sir. Hi, Secretary. Hey, you've said, uh, if, I, if I understand it correctly, that enough results may be coming in tonight for people to have a uh, handle on who the winner in the presidential race is. What's your basis for thinking that? Can you put a finer point on it? How long? What makes you say that? So the counties are, the counties are continuing to count. And so obviously, depending on how close the race is, that impacts whether you, so you know, the, the final results are not certified until 20 days after the election, right? So I want to be clear, there's no final results happening now anyway. What's happening now is having enough ballots counted to actually see who the winner is, right? The farther apart that is, the easier it is to tell. So it's very close in Pennsylvania, right? There's no question. And so that means it's going to take longer to actually see who the winner is. But I can tell you that, that, that there's 
several hundred thousand ballots remaining to be counted. You can track all that, what counties it remains in, look at our website, and you'll be able to see how, how we get to the conclusion. But, you know, either way, I want to be clear that these are just the mail-in and absentee votes and the in-person votes, right? The overwhelming majority, like, I think, you know, a huge, huge majority of the in-person votes have been counted. We're in a very good place with the mail-in and absentee ballots, but not quite there yet. But then there's still going to be provisional ballots, the military and overseas ballots, and so forth. So the closer the race is, the longer it takes. But I think what I've said all along is that the overwhelming majority of ballots will be counted by Friday. I still think that we're ahead of the schedule, and we actually already have counted the overwhelming majority of ballots, but because it's a close race, it's not quite clear yet who the winner is. So, yes. You've mentioned provisional ballots a couple of times. Um, how many of those have been cast statewide? And of those, uh, how many have been counted and reported? So very few have been counted and because the, that usually happens following the ca counting of the other ballots. So usually, so that you won't see, counties are not going to start that until after they've finished with the others generally. Um, so, so we don't know yet. We've been reaching out to the counties. I know, I can't remember if it was you or somebody else who asked me both about provisional ballot numbers and uh, numbers of ballots arriving after election day, after 8 p.m. on election day. Um, so provisional ballots, you know, I think we've heard from, you know, maybe two-thirds of the counties. So I don't have a firm number yet, and as soon as we do, we'll be able to report those numbers. Can you give me your best estimate? The provisional ballots, I think it's still early yet. So let's touch base again after I have more than the number that I have so far. Yeah. No, no guesstimate at all? It, it doesn't, it, you know, the context, the context matters, right? So if I tell you a number that ref reflects 41 counties, it's not, it's, it's could not, it could be not reflective of the whole because it matters which counties they are. So we will circle back with you. Yes. Oh, you, sorry, uh, sorry. I, I know that you stand by the intent.